Good afternoon, everyone. I am back again with another video on um, the continuation of singleness. And if you all did not get an opportunity to watch my first two videos, the first one was Introduction to Godly Principles. The second one was um, the five benefits of singleness. Tonight, I will discuss what is God viewpoint on singleness. What is God viewpoint on singleness? And I will be coming out of 1 Corinthians 7, verses 8. But I say to the unmarried and to the widow, it is good for them if they remain even as I am. But if they cannot exercise self-control, let them marry. For it is better to marry than to burn with passion. So Paul is writing this and he's letting everyone know that if you cannot practice self-control, Go ahead and marry. If you want to do uh, everything outside of God's will and you doing things your way, go ahead and do it. Because there is no good fruit that comes behind when you're doing things your way. But if you're doing it God's way, you will not have anything to regret. Okay? You won't have anything to regret. But this is why you have to practice self-control. And this is a daily thing because if you marry someone... You're going to regret it, especially if you marry someone for the wrong reasons. And that's something we do not want to do. We don't want to marry anybody for the wrong reasons. We want to make sure this is the God-ordained person that God has for us, okay? Um, another verse, I'm still in the same verse, 1 Corinthians 7, moving along to uh, verses 32. But I want you to be without care. Paul is saying, I want you to be without care. He who, he who is unmarried cares for the things of the Lord, how he may please the Lord. So the only thing as a single person that we should be doing is doing everything to please God. Because if you please God and you seek the kingdom, everything else is going to come to you. But if you're out here pleasing the world, then guess what? You're going to get the worldly things. And we don't want the worldly things because the worldly things is not going to last. But what's going to last is doing things God's way. And that is what our focus should be on. I know that's my focus, doing things God's way and, and keeping my mind on the Lord. So, and everything else will come when you do things God's way. God will bring you your husband. God will bring you your wife in his own timing. But we have to do it God's way. Okay, and I have a couple of uh, points, pointers that I'm going to read that I took jotted down uh, about what does God, what does the Bible say, say about singleness and loneliness? Loneliness. First of all, singleness is a gift from God. Um, you know, you you have an opportunity to explore, to do things that you enjoy doing, to do things that you know, to love on yourself. If you want to go get your hair done, if you want to get your nails done, your feet done, I know that's things that I do for me to love on myself, you know, you can do that. Um, and also, too, another point I have is single people can devote this, the, the, you can devote yourself more to the Lord. Doing things, the doing God's work. I mean, if you're in the church, I know I serve at my church. If you're in the church, you can serve. You know, you can go, it's so many great things. You can feed the homeless. So many great things that you can do. Uh, things of the Lord. Work on getting your credit together. You know, things that will benefit you as a single person. So when you get with someone, you'll be on point. You'll be good. <laughs> so everything will come, come together. So when you have when God have that God ordained person for you, y'all can come, y'all are gonna y'all gonna be a force together. So when you do things God's way and doing the things of the Lord and being fully, fully, fully submitted to God. Not halfway, but being fully, fully submitted to God. The next thing I have is, um, by singing this is a gift from God, Paul talked about celibacy and being single as a, is a blessed state. Saving yourself, keeping yourself for the person that God has for you, you know, and, 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 and meaning that. Staying away from fornication, all this sexual sin stuff. Shut it down, ladies. Keep it shut because these guys, let me tell you something about a lot of these guys out here. A real man, he ain't gonna want your body. He gonna want you. He gonna want you to keep yourself for your husband. You see what I'm saying? And just, just shut it. Close the shop. Because a lot of these guys that we run up against sometimes, ladies, they don't want nothing but your body. But if you tell them, hey, I'm waiting on my husband. That's me. I'm not having sex with you. If it's, if you're not my husband, 
I'm not having sex with you. We're not doing this. We're going to do this God's way. And how you wing them out, ladies, tell them that you ain't get having sex with them until you get married. <laughs> so guess what? They're going to flee. So you're going to wing them out because they ain't going to want to come back no more. They're going to go ghost on you. But that's what you want. But when you do things God's way, that is what happens. God is a protection. God is protecting you from all the wrong ones. Okay? So let's keep those legs closed. And let's wait on the person that God got for us. So that when that man come, guess what? He going to love you. Come be like, you been waiting five years? You been waiting three years on me? You been waiting two years on me? Ten years on me? Fifteen years? What? The right man will find you. I know he going to find me. And the right man will find you. But we have to be patient. Patient is a virtue. Patient is the key. Okay? Also, the last point that I have is, what does God say about um, the unmarried women and the unmarried men? It still goes back to what I just said. It's a gift from God. You keep yourself. You do the things of the Lord. Your focus should be on God. Everything else will come. When your mindset is on God, guess what? You ain't got time to think about negativity things. You ain't got time to engage in things that don't, uh, 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 that don't matter. Because your mind is on God. Your mind is on God. And I'm talking to the men and the women. I'm talking to everybody. When your mind is on God doing the things of God, you ain't got time to be looking for no man. You ain't got time to be on social media searching for no man. You ain't got time to be on Christian Mingo and all these other dating sites. Because guess what? What's for you is for you. I know what's for me is for me. And he coming. But at the end of the day, Miriam gonna do, Miriam Jackson is going to do the things that's pleasing to God. And everything else will follow. Everything else will follow. So, if you all like this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that like button for more. And you all have a wonderful afternoon. And I will see you all next time. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love each and every last one of you all out there. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.